So it's all changed. Um, he actually didn't cry, which is kind of a shock. But what I know with these nappies, I didn't realise, is that you have to make sure that these tabs are out. Otherwise you get a leak. You can make sure his bits are down as well. Because um, there's been a few times where I've woke up and he's peed himself. So that's bad mummy points there. Yeah, he's all done. I'm going to change his top now. So it's really warm today. It's about 30 degrees, I think, in uh, Melbourne. So I've put him in his little monster suit, which I think is ever so cute. He's got little pants. I like changing him in the morning to pretend that he knows that it's daytime. And I also draw the curtains back so he has a bit of light. You now it's time to carry on his feed, so he gets a bit upset. So I'm going to give him the rest of his milk. I'm very excited. We just got a um, knock at the door. It's a postman, and we've got a parcel from overseas. I don't recognise the writing, so I have no idea who it is. So I'm going to open this up because I'm never distracted. I don't know before, but that's fine with me. So let's put the phone down whilst I open it. But it's beautiful wrap. Right? So I'm just opening it now. I have no idea who it's from. So I can't open wrap for whoever it is. I can't open the present just yet because he's a bit upset but I've just found out it's from my um, uncle Bob, auntie Morvin and their daughter Tara which is absolutely beautiful. So they live in Melbourne so they've posted that over to Australia. So I'm just going to open the present once he settles down. So my beautiful aunt and uncle have just sent me this. If you can see it's not. The Peter Rabbit comforter is absolutely beautiful. Oh it's so cute. And anyway because I tried to open the package um Hudson got a little bit upset, so I'm going to calm him down a bit. Bad mummy points. But he's also drank his whole bottle, and you know, once more. <laughs> that face. So it's 8.24. He's still making, like, the weird mouth thing, the reading thing, to say that he is hungry. But I just wondered if he was actually just wanting to suck on something, so I popped in his dummy. It's also a Dr. Brown's dummy, so it matches the bottle. Um... Seems to be okay on that. I might just go outside for a little bit of fresh air. Just come outside. It's actually a Melbourne heat wave, so I like him to go out in the morning so he gets some fresh air. And he gets to see birds in the tree. Yeah, it's quite cool actually, so I might just stay here for a few minutes. I like him to know it's daylight too, it's daytime. Yeah, he's playing with his new comforter. It's very cute. So we've gone for a walk outside and he's still hungry. This is how I know. It's the only time he gets upset. So I'm going to make him a little top up. He didn't drink much of his night bottles, so he's probably hungry and he was a bit sick before. Um, so I'm just going to put him down in his play mat and then I'll give him a top up and hopefully get him to sleep. Because mummy has things to do. So he's being kind of a good boy on his play mat. I'm just going to make his formula. I just want to show you what formula I use. It's um, it's called Heinz Nurture. If you can see it there, we were on, um, well to be fair, we've got a few attempts here. We have SMA, I just didn't like. Um, S26, we didn't get to use. We've got this one, which we use most of the tin. This was really good, but um, it gave me constipation, so we changed to Heinz Nurture. Um, and yeah, he's, he's fine on it. He's been on it for about two weeks. But one to less a week. Um, as he's quite a big boy and he's nearly a month old, I do use 150ml and it kind of normally suffices him but today he's quite hungry. So I'm just going to make this up now. Quite calm is Matt, I don't think I've ever seen him this calm. I think he's behaving well for the camera. Bless you. So we've got his 50ml top up, I'm just going to give him that. Hopefully he goes to sleep then because I've got so much to do. Finally sneaking in my drink at I think 8.41. Um, I'm hoping that he drops off soon because... Yeah, I just hope he drops off soon because I want him to have a good sleep. Oh, I think I need one too. Um, so yeah, he's a bit milk stoned at the moment which is good. Also just read the sugar content of this drink and I think I'm going to be absolutely wired for the rest of the day. That is... 25.9 grams of sugar in this one drink. Not too bothered as the ingredients are two pressed apples, a mashed banana, coconut, vanilla, oats. So there's no added sugar, which is okay, and it's probably fructose. But um, yeah, I might be more awake in the next time I the next time I film. I've actually got a bit of wind, so I've had to throw him over my shoulder. So he's not gonna sleep anytime soon.
I also just want to say how amazing these swaddles are. So they're called, I think, Love Me Swaddle? Love, love to Swaddle. I'm just going to turn the camera around so you get to see. This little boy, who's not in four weeks, hates to be swaddles. You literally can double wrap him as tight as you can and he will be Houdini and get out. But these swaddles, he loves his hands by his face. These make, um, allow his hand to be up there and he can chew on his hands, he won't scratch his face. The only problem I have is that it's a little bit heavy for a Australian summer, but it's only early and it's still cool. So I'll put him in it this morning and I normally put him in it at night time. In the day, I kind of just wrap him up in like a muslin wrap like this that's behind him. But yeah, it's just awesome. We actually have four of them. I did see on the internet that there's a winter version and we're relocating back to England, so going home in April. So I might get a few of them in. So yeah, back to settling. Poor Sod's got gas, I think. He gets really red cheeks and he kind of puts his legs out straight. So I'm just trying to get rid of that. Don't know what's caused it. Um, it's normally pretty good on this formula. I don't know if it's the heat or what, but I try and wind him. So it's 9.06 and we're still trying to get him to sleep. My poor baby has wind, so I'm trying to get it out. Um, he normally goes to sleep pretty well in the morning and he doesn't normally get gas until night, so poor Bubba. So now he's falling asleep on me. I know so I have to transfer him to his bus in his bedroom. This is not gonna go well. So now 9.36. Um we've got rid of his wind, but he woke up and so he's now hungry, so giving him the 50 mil top up I didn't give him before. Hopefully he settles soon. It's just dropped off. I know it's back away. It's 10.06. Finally he's gone to sleep. I'm now going to have a shower and try to sort this out because I look really rough. Um, and then I'm going to tidy up and then I... Because we're moving to England, I've got to do my social work application for England so I can be registered. It's 50 pages long, so that's what I'm going to try and do when he's, um, he's asleep, so hopefully he stays asleep. Okay, so I'm clean. Um, it's quite sad how excited I get now that um, I actually get to have a shower in the day when he sleeps. It's a big achievement. I'm not even going to bother putting makeup on because I'm not going out, so I'm just stuck with these lovely bags. So I'm going to make a start on... There's 50 pages worth. There's 50 pages for this application. It's ridiculous. I'm going to try and do a bit of that and then probably go for a nap because I can't even sleep properly. Um, so he's still asleep. So hopefully he sleeps at about half to half one. Um, and then I'll be able to get this done and get some sleep. Hey, finally got him to sleep. Um, he slept for two hours. It's just woke up. Very hungry little boy. Um, I also failed to do my social work application and instead I went for a nap. So, put him down whilst I get him his bottle. So it's 1pm. The little fella has thrown up his bottle. He hasn't had a good time in his nappy. He just pooed all over mummy. So I have no idea what's wrong with him, but I'm just going to put him on the bed and chill out a little bit with him. Poor boy. As you can tell, I've changed my clothes because there's been all over them and this one now has spit up on it. Can I just say that being a new mum it's hard work. It's 2.40 in the afternoon. I'm pretty much in the same position I was in at 7 a.m. this morning. I don't know what's up with the little man today. If it's a leap or what, he won't settle. Oh. The time is calm is when he's on me, which is fine, but it's really, really not like him. He keeps spitting up little bits of his food. It's completely out of sorts, so I don't really know what to do. I think I might give him a feed, a change, and put him in the carrier and go for a walk. <coughs> Oh, gee, yeah, that's probably making him feel better. The problem is, um, it's like 30 degrees outside. It. It's going to be too hot, so if it's too hot, then I have no idea what to do. What to do. Um, yeah, he's not often like this, so this is a really tricky day for him. He seems so much more alert, like he can follow my hand around and he's, follow he's looking at stuff which he hasn't really done before, so I'm considering that it might be a leap. He's a bit young for it, he's only four weeks. Well, just on four weeks. He's quite advanced anyway, and he's a big boy, so... Mm, I don't know. So hopefully, next time I film, I won't be sitting in this position. Because I'm going to slightly mad. Um, yeah, so... Sorry if this is boring, but this is a day in the life of a newborn. 
three o'clock and I'm still in the same position. <sighs> it's too hot, so I'm gonna get the carry on, go walk around the house. He's being fed, he's gonna change him. I have no idea why he's crying. Um, if it is a leap, it's meant to last a week. <laughs> Someone could tell me what's happening, I'd really appreciate it. So it's too hot to go outside properly, so we're in the carrier. I've got a um, Beyond adjust, awesome. yeah, adapt. It's calmed down a little bit, but it's still not asleep. No speed outside. So, um, yeah, it's quite warm today. No one wants to buy my car. It's on carsales.com. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's see if he drops off. Just had a chance to um, change this, which is like the most exciting thing ever. So 53 days until we go to the UK and 19 work days for my partner left. Here's what I have to do. I'm going to be this person before we go. So much to do, it's crazy. So it's four o'clock. Little man's just woke up. He had, he was in the carrier for about 40 minutes. I put him in the bassinet for about 20. He's very hungry, so I'm going to have to feed him. I managed to change the bed, which is so exciting. Um, and I've got my running stuff on because my partner comes home about five-ish. And he has bubs for half an hour, so I try and get my fitness back. I used to run um, distance, but pregnancy ruined that. And I'm literally starting afresh. Um, I'm also trying to lose my baby weight, because it's definitely still there. As much as I hoped it would disappear. Um, so what I found out with being a new mom is there is so much washing. So this is already two changes today. Um, I love his little outfit at the moment. It's probably a little bit too small for it, but my mum sent him a t-shirt from England. Uh, it's really cute. And some shorts. I think they're from Target. Anyway, um, so I'm going to make his bottle, but I've put him in the chair just to chill out for a bit. Um, anyway, bottle time. It's 4.15. Um, it's a bit most of his milk, and it's kind of in a little milk coma, which is good. Um, Hopefully he falls asleep, which he normally does, but it doesn't have much luck. Maybe counting down the minutes until my partner's back so we can go for a run. I contemplate taking him out to Meatball, but um, from the train station, because it's a bit too hot, but we'll see how he settles down and might head out. I hope he stays asleep because I'm nearly a qualified personal trainer. I've got a few more assessments to do. Um, fitness has been a massive part of my life for the last few years. It's got me through from difficult times. Um, my dad died of bowel cancer a few years ago and it just made me rethink my diet um, and I just wanted to be able to be part of other people's fitness journeys um, and also kind of bring in the mental health element because I'm a mental health social worker. So when we move to England I'll be um, continuing my business there. I do train people here um, but as a coach kind of thing rather than a personal trainer and so I can't wait to be qualified so my goal is by the time we go back is to have that completely done. Um, I also really need to do my social work application because there's so many parts to it, so hopefully after my run he's still asleep and I can get them done. So it's 5.10, it's cooled down a little so we're going to go for a walk to meet Paul from the train station. He was fast asleep on me but then decided to wake up as soon as I transferred him. So at least we're outside now and he's asleep. So this is my first real run since having a baby. I am four weeks post baby on Tuesday. Today's Monday, so nearly there. Um, just finished my run. Ran for about, not very long, about 20 minutes on and off. But it is 30 degrees outside. Um, Paul's cooking dinner, so, and he's finally asleep. He's going to sleep in his little rocking chair, which um, I like to keep an eye on him when he's asleep. So I'm going to go and watch him. And Paul's making dinner, and it's nearly, it's 20 to 7. So it's now 7.22 and we're feeding again. No idea what's going on with him today. We put in his bassinet, he wouldn't sleep. So he's sitting on me and he's having a feed. So hopefully he goes down. He normally goes down at 7, so I have no idea what we're going to do or what tonight's going to hold. What fun! So it's 9.15 and I've tried for about two hours to get him to sleep. Oh my god, it's down there. Um, I think he's finally gone to sleep. Balls at basketball, so hopefully when he comes in he doesn't wake him. He's to bed now. It's been a crazy day. He's not normally this restless at all. So hopefully tomorrow's better, and I really hope he might sleep a little bit through the night. So see you tomorrow.